What's up, YouTube? This is OG Weasel Urban Conversion. I'm back again. I'm headed back to the gym because I got to tap back into some discipline on my workout. And I advise y'all to do the same. Uh, keep you healthy, keep you um, living longer and all of that. If you just now tune in on my channel, this is OG Weasel Urban Conversion and I got clemency from Obama. I had a 30 year fed sentence and I did 20 years on it and I got the relief because I was eligible for the clemency program and I'm here today and I'm telling you fed stories. Today, my story is about what to look forward to, what to look forward to when the feds indict you or you have to go to or get getting indicted getting indicted if you got indicted and you was a significant somebody of stature or some something like that you you might have a, a lawyer on retainer if you know what you're doing having a lawyer on retainer if you're doing something illegal with the feds and shit like that pretty much will give you the opportunity to find out are you being talked about in the fed building if your name getting tossed around with the agents some of the lawyers might have a rapport with um, some people in the building or something like that and they can pretty much give you the heads up if your name being tossed around in the fed building this don't matter what state you in. Your lawyer will pretty much tell you, you know, well, they got your name in the building, man. Your, your name being talked about. If you got a lawyer that's cool enough to do that for you. I'm not sure if they do it on the regular, but it can be done. Trust me, I ain't heard about it. No, I, you know, I didn't do it personally because I didn't have a, return, a lawyer on retainer. Um, prior to doing the stuff I was doing on the streets. So if you got a lawyer on retainer, man, and you know what you're doing in the streets, man, they pretty much give you the heads up about you getting indicted or your name in the building or whatever. You know, you under investigation. So that's very helpful to have a, re a lawyer on retainer to find out about those um, issues now mind you I'm finna give you some game man if you don't have a lawyer and you just get indicted or supersede indicted jump in on somebody or somebody they threw you in on somebody case and they just grab your ass you don't know what's going on this and that everything that you've been doing is in disarray all over the place you don't have no structure so that's when they be able to go in, seize all your assets, access, um, uh, um, your motherfucking material shit you worship. And they can seize all of your shit, your property, and all of that stuff. So that's the disturbing part of it. Now, on another note, get indicted don't run off spending a whole lot of money out the gate sending people getting on the phone sending people other places to do other things shut down shut down and be quiet don't talk to nobody about your case Some people going to be uh, televised. It's going to be new newspaper articles about, you know, shit going to be out about you. You're going to get some type of news articles or, or might be televised or something like that. Shut your mouth, man. Because when the feds come get you and they get you, 
If they take you straight to the Fed building, if they take you straight to one of the county jails, keep your mouth closed. Keep your mouth closed. Don't go to shuffling around no lot of money, trying to maneuver and do this and do that. Cause all that shit, they gon' they have eyes on you. And they watching people around you and all of that. So just go shut. You gotta go shut up. Flat out. But that wasn't a, that wasn't a thing that got me. A lot of y'all, if you doing drugs, eating pills, smoking weed, drinking lean, in the midst of everything you doing with the feds on the uh, well under federal indictment or. Uh, got federal, federally in, indicted on something. If you got in trouble and you get caught, you been eating pills, drinking lean, smoking weed, doing all the street shit that come along with being a street drug dealer. Consuming this type of stuff, this, these drugs and all of that, and you 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 only kinged in on the street shit. So when these feds come in, you you at a loss for words. First off, you don't know. You don't know none of the procedures that you got to deal with dealing with the feds. So you already probably been dealing with the state or whatever and you really ain't in tune with this federal shit and how it goes so go in and shut your mouth me and I'm just taking y'all through a mental mind state that happened you know that I went through myself so when the marshals finally caught me they finally caught me. I get to the county jail. I don't do no rapping, none of that. Talking. I was with my cousin. He had got it. He he was on the run from the state at the time. He always was on the run from the state. You know. I'm talking about, you know, I ain't gonna get into him, but he's an interesting um he an interesting character and I'll tell you one thing I can write a movie about him so once I get to the things that I was doing on the streets that led up to me getting receiving 30 years he gonna play a big part of that not that he got me in no trouble or nothing like that he was just he my first cousin and me and him ran the streets together all the way in the streets so when they apprehended me and caught up with me, like I said, if you eating pills, doing drugs, smoking weed, drinking, all times of the hours, all times of the day, under constant review of doing drugs and being in the streets, Lost sight of your vision. A lot of things, and I'm gonna get into this. I'm gonna get into this while I'm saying what I'm saying. You're gonna have a lost vision, sight of what you're doing, the decisions you make, coming from eating pills, doing drugs, smoking weed. Eat all of the shit that come with being a, 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 a undercover addict that you don't think you an addict to or a uh, slave to. You be a slave to this shit and, and be, a, you know, yeah, you can sell 
50 keys, 20 keys of this shit over here and pounds of this and this and that, that and this, but you consuming all type of other shit. Your vision gonna be lost, trust me. I don't care how, if you doing drugs and selling drugs. Now I had to come in the county jail and detox my fucking self from using drugs, drinking, drugging, all the things that was coming, uh, that I was normalizing. Once I got to jail and I got to the county jail, it's like, damn, the baby mamas, the girlfriends, all of that shit, it's like you get a break from that. You get a break from all of that shit. The three, four girlfriends you got, the um, the homies and the partners that's pulling for you, reaching for you every day, needing something, wanting something, and the bullshit that you want all day. So all that shit is a whirlwind. And I had to detox. And the only reason I can tell you these things because I had to go through these things. From using drugs, eating pills, doing all type of shit, but I had money and doing all of this. It's a cycle of bullshit. When you don't have your mental right. And you don't have the right people around you. At all times. That got your best interest. If you got all the people around you. That's doing the same shit you doing. And the shit you doing. Is what they doing. Man it's a motherfucking whirlwind of bullshit. Just being honest. So. Get to the county jail, got a detox. Don't want to hear shit. Don't want to talk about nothing. Can't even eat. Got the runs. Throwing up. Combination of all type of bullshit. Body need to de detox. Think my money safe. Cause I had enough time to run and all that. Think my money saved the little pennies I had. <laughs> but that shit wasn't safe. <clears throat> so after detoxing for a few days, start getting my bearings together. Um, now the, the guard telling me I'm finna be on the docket to go to court so I gotta go in front of this magistrate judge this white boy white man this white man to see if my case can move forward with the federal government do they have enough to continue with the indictment so you go through, you go stand in front of the magistrate judge. He don't know. He gonna play like he don't know if it's up for review to continue. So he gonna put it under review to fake out. They gonna come back and say, yeah, they ain't pushing it forward. <laughs> so you go back, you going through that process then you're going back to the uh, for different type of arraignments and all of that. But the point of this story is I went down to the bullpen and seen the guy. It's it's a group of us that caught the chain to the Fed building from different jails under different indictments. Motherfuckers got all type of different charges. You don't be asking no motherfucker what they charge, none of that. You kind of, just because they got you and you think you was doing a little something, you really think everybody was kind of doing it to the level you are because you in the feds. Nah, that's not the case. You got motherfuckers that's in here fondling the kids. Um, got all type of pornographic uh, fed cases, all type of crazy shit. Um, you got arson 
you got scammers, and all of these same guys are in the bullpen when you got these drug dealers carrying their gun, um, running from the police, running from the police, high speeding from the police, bulletproof vests, guns, drug dealing, like, you know. I met this guy down here at the bullpen and this dude said, and it was a group of us in the bullpen and the guy said, he said, man, I'm not talking to nobody particular. And he said, y'all look fairly young and this and that, that and this. He said, I'm just putting it out there. He said, if any one of you look guys got a few dollars that y'all got access to. He said, man, don't give your money to the lawyers, these fair lawyers. I just spent $25,000 and the people just took my uh, money and still put the fucking guidelines saying this is what they can't do nothing you within these guidelines. So you gave up $25,000, $30,000 trying to get a lawyer to fight for your case to get you some type of relief to the satisfaction of your money because the fair lawyers ain't cheap and because the process, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, the feds only started dealing with mobsters, bank robbers, you know what I mean? So when they started diluting down and started getting the scammers, filling the jails up with the drug dealers, going across country, grabbing drug dealers, making an example after the mob generations because that, they was only trying to organize crime. That's what the feds was just designated on trying to debunk them. But anyway, so you know, you got this pistol toter in, this, in the thing. You might got a, a white collar crime. Then you got a, 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 um, a rainbow uh, substitute or whatever. You got, you got all type of different cases in here. Arson, you got a dude in here about arson or setting something on fire or something. You know what I'm saying? Then you got a, then you got a, 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 a terrorist suspect in the same bullpen which, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, a, a, it's a plethora of a lot of things. So, when he say that, he said, man, don't give y'all money. If y'all got some money, hold on to it. It's some legal beagles. And I'm like, legal beagles? He said, man, there's some legal beagles. Where are you going that's going to fight for your case, man? And it ain't going to be that type of money that you have to spend. And But you're going to have to spend some money because they ain't really cheap. They ain't cheap. And they get you more relief because of the fact that these dudes are in jail and they studying law. They finding the best case law that go with your case. So they in the library all day reading books, studying your case, reading your case, looking for loopholes in your case. So that's what a legal beagle is. And I'm gonna tell y'all about them once I get back into the feds. So when the guy said, man, the legal beagles will help y'all and they'll fight for your life, man, way better than a paralegal or a lawyer because a paralegal and a lawyer got 10 other cases. What one person can deal with 10 cases at one time? They got teams. They got um, they got a, uh, associates to help spread your case. They got um, um, interns and shit like that so that's reading over your shit. So these motherfuckers ain't just in tune with your shit. So he gonna tell you all the shit that he know about in front of your face till he get your money. So now, I say, hmm, okay. Might have a couple dollars and it makes sense. So I go back doing one of my arraignments and they ask, do I got a lawyer or this and that? I was like, no, I ain't got no lawyer. So they was like, they gonna appoint me a lawyer. Mind you, y'all, the street shit. We gotta go grab some of this street shit. Gotta go grab it. From detoxing, running the streets with the dudes that you with. All the shit that you think solid around you and all of that, 
You got the baby mama dramas. You got the girlfriend troubles. You got the, you know what I'm saying? You got all the little bitty kids. You got three or four little bitty kids. Grab the street shit now. I don't got no money, so I'm going to get a public defender. Because I think I'm going to hold these little pennies over here. That I'm going to have when I get back out of jail. I ain't leave. I, I I'm trying to leave my money, and that's another segment. I'm gonna talk about that. Hit the sub, uh, hit the uh, comment section if y'all wanna know uh, about my money situation. I do a segment on that. Now another thing, grab the street shit. Bring a little bit of street shit back with y'all when you're getting a public defender. And this is what I didn't pay attention to. When they appointed me a lawyer, a public defender, when they appointed me a public defender, I'm only oblivious, I'm, I'm, I'm oblivious to how the feds work and I'm not concentrating on nothing but my case. The outside shit, the person that I got locked up with, I would have gave my life to in an instant. He's never under question about nothing. Go back to the street shit, y'all. They appointed me a lawyer, public defender. I had a little, you know, the county jail. I'm in the county jail. They called me out my cell and said, Carl Mike, you got an attorney busy. So I'm thinking I'm finna go behind the glass and talk to them. Now, nah, attorney busy, you get a, 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 a real live, up close and personal uh, in a room. No handcuffs, no nothing around them. So they take me to the room for the attorney busy. She bring me a, uh, she bring a, a investigator with her. She introduced her investigator. I'm like, oh, okay. Shit, okay. Got your investigator, you know. To um give them my my story. If I need to, you know, well check this out if I'm fighting the government. But I ain't gonna need no investigator. I just know I want some reasonable time for this case. That's it. I ain't tripping. I knew I was going to jail. I'm not tripping. So when the bitch start, when the, when she get to talking about, well, you looking at 16, 15, 16 years, this and that, I'm like, damn, for what? So anyway, we're going to that. No. Mind, I apologize. Mind you, when she introduced herself and she introduced her investigator, she sit down, pull out the little folder, whatever information she got on me, and she look at me and say, Mr. Carmichael, the government wanna sit down and have a talk with you. I'm like, what? She said, yeah, the government want to talk to you about something. Then she go into the subject at hand, and I'm like, I don't know nothing about that. You tripping. No, I don't. Stop, pause right there. I've been going to jail since I turned 17. Going to the city hall jail, going to the little municipalities, all the little small municipality, traffic tickets, shit like that. I'm in the streets, I'm running the streets, this and that. It's colder and honor that I was brought up under. Told her, I said, man, I got caught with this. Don't know nothing about that. That don't got nothing to do with me. Paul, stop. Listen, y'all. 
if I ain't never sat down with the police a day in my motherfucking life, always on the run, doing, getting in lineups and everything, all the whole nine, everything that the streets got to bring to you, lineups, all it is. Stop, pause. She say the government want to talk to you. Thought they just stumbled up on me. Paul, stop. This was just a random catch, I'm thinking. Not even a paying attention that this case had been turned over to the feds from the state. Not even thinking because of the pills eating, the drink drinking, the weed smoking. The motherfucking powder snorting. All the shit that you doing. Cloud your motherfucking vision. So when the lawyer come to me and ask me this, that, and the third. Bitch. No you. No them. No nothing. Got caught with this. We ain't talking about that. I don't want to hear nothing. Stop, pause, y'all. Listen, come on, follow me. If I ain't never sat down with the police in my life, how they want to talk to me about something that ain't got nothing to do with me? Stop, pause, catch it, catch it, y'all. Y'all put it together. Y'all want me to continue that one story? Hit the comments in the bottom, man. Hit the comments in the bottom, man. After going through that two or three different times of her coming to see me to talk about my case, which is supposed to be my public defender. Continue continuously to start the conversation off about what they want. Nah. We have to move forward with this, that, and the third. Don't ever come back to this shit talking to me about nothing. Should jump off my case. Still oblivious to the street shit. Put nothing together. They give me another public defender. He start off with the same bullshit, y'all. And when he do, I kill the interview with him. And I say, we're going to trial. He come back and say, if you go to trial, this is what you're facing. This is what you're going to be looking at. It's a mandatory 30-year sentence. He can give you from 30 years to a life sentence to any number he's seen, he's seen fit for you. He can give me 200 years, 300 years because you fit the category in this level of the enhancements that they giving you. All of this shit they finna tack on. Traffic tickets, everything they finna add, they finna knock your boots off. So I told the lawyer, he got that to give to me because I'm not sitting down with you or them ever again. And lo and behold, I got the 30. Ask me some comments. Hit the comments in the bottom, man, if y'all want to hear some more stories uh, like this. I can get in depth about this shit. It's about a, it's a book behind this shit. Uh, I can get to this shit, man. Y'all hit the comments in the bottom, man. Peace. This OG Weasel Urban Conversion, and I'm out. I'm going to work out, man. Come on. Follow me, y'all.